name is Derek and I'm here today on behalf of Tom Drinkwater and the Oakland Axe Factory to bring you guys a video demo and review of the Oakland Axe Factory OSC-6. And this guitar gets its name from the offset single cutaway design, which is a really cool shape. Um, I guess the best way I could really describe it is that it's kind of Tom's uh, interpretation of a more modern Fender Telecaster style guitar. Uh, this particular one has an African mahogany body, also has a maple fretboard, has a maple neck, and as you can see here it's got bolt-on neck construction. Right here you can see it's a string through body. The bridge on this guitar is a stainless steel hip shot bridge. We also have hip shot tuners, a Durlin nut, and we have 22 stainless steel frets. And one thing to note about the, um, it's kind of cool about this guitar, is the cutaway is nice and deep so Accessing those really high frets is no problem whatsoever. Let's see, we've also got um, a volume knob, a tone knob, and a three-way selector switch. One really cool feature that comes standard with this guitar is the Dunlop flush mount strap locks, as you can see right there. Hopefully that gets into focus. <clears throat> uh, the pickups on this particular guitar are GFS humbuckers, and they were I've actually never used GFS pickups before, but these things sounded really great. So anyway, uh, what I figured I would do with the rest of the video is try to give you guys an idea of what this particular guitar sounds like um, without any post-processing being done. So what I'm going to do is basically just play some very basic riffs. Uh, I'm going to do some high gain stuff, some clean tone stuff, and maybe even a little bit of lead. I'm going to try to give you some samples on the bridge, middle position, and neck position. Um, and another thing that I'll do for you guys is I'll include the, the DI files and direct input files so you, you know, if you have the proper equipment you can take these files and then reamp them through your gear to see what this instrument would sound like through your setup. Um, so hopefully that'll be pretty cool. And another thing too, if you guys enjoyed the music you heard at the beginning of this video, feel free to come check out uh, my personal band project, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'll leave the link down below in the description. But uh, other than that, hope you guys have enjoyed the video and the review, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for stopping by.